The spring transfer portal window is supposed to be more about building a deeper roster and picking up players who could fill a role as a backup. But there has been a lot of top stars in college football to enter the transfer portal this spring. Damier Martinez entered the transfer portal and he will likely be transferring to the Miami Hurricanes. And that is going to be huge for Miami because Damier Martinez is one of the best running backs in the country. Five-star cornerback Carmani McLean from Colorado also entered the transfer portal after creating a lot of buzz around the college football world and calling out Deion Sanders. One of the most productive players on that Colorado offense, running back Dylan Edwards also entered the transfer portal. Safety Jacoby Matthews from Texas A&M also entered the transfer portal, and he is one of the top safeties in the portal. And it looks like he could be potentially transferring to the Washington Huskies. And we also just seen one of the top wideouts in the portal. Keandre Lambert Smith make his decision to transfer to the Auburn Tigers. And I made a video just recently talking about how big of a move that was for Auburn. The transfer portal becomes more and more surprising every year. And there are a lot of quality players in the transfer portal right now. And they are going to be huge playmakers wherever they end up transferring. And I know I left some big names off of that list, but one player that has actually made a decision to transfer is four-star quarterback Jaden Rashada. And he made the decision to transfer to the Georgia Bulldogs. And this should be pretty exciting news for Georgia fans because you may have missed out on securing Jada Maiava as a future quarterback because he ended up transferring to USC instead. And there is no guarantee that Jaden Rashada is going to be a future starter. But adding a talented four-star quarterback who still has multiple years of eligibility left is pretty big news if you ask me. And Jaden Rashada adds a lot more potential for the future of Georgia at quarterback. The starting job is undeniably Carson Beck's job in 2024. But after he's gone, you have to have that next man up mentality. And something that Kirby Smart has been really good at is developing three and four star quarterbacks. And he usually turns them into one of the best quarterbacks in the country. But Jaden Rashada was a higher end four star quarterback prospect. And he was the number six quarterback in the class of 2023. So he does have a lot of upside. And Jaden Rashada isn't necessarily a lower end recruit. But Stetson Bennett and Carson Beck have both turned into pretty solid quarterbacks, and none of them were highly recruited out of high school. In fact, Stetson Bennett was actually a Juco and a very low-end recruit, and Stetson Bennett stepped up and became a great leader and a quarterback for this team. But right now, Georgia has two solid higher-rated four-star quarterbacks waiting behind Carson Beck. And Jaden Rashada is probably going to have to compete with Gunnar Stockton for the starting spot, because after Carson Beck moves on to the NFL, it's going to get interesting in that quarterback room. And Gunnar Stockton and Jaden Rashada are both top 10 quarterback prospects in their respective classes. Gunnar Stockton being in the class of 2022 and Jaden Rashada being in the class of 2023. So I definitely think the Georgia Bulldogs are set at quarterback going forward. Jaden Rashada appeared in three games as a freshman last season for Arizona State, where he passed for just under 500 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions, and a completion percentage of 53.7. His season got shortened due to injury, but he showed his talent when he threw for two touchdowns to open the season, including throwing a deep touchdown pass that was right on the money. He had some solid deep throws last season, and his arm strength and ability to hit his target was pretty solid for a true freshman. And if you give him time to learn with a much more talented Georgia roster, he could be a force for the Georgia Bulldogs in the future as long as he stays healthy. And it is very hard to evaluate a quarterback that is still young and unproven. And the fact that he got injured in his first season and was playing for a very bad Arizona State team kind of brings his stock down. Because honestly, his numbers were not that great in his first three college games of his career. But honestly, that probably doesn't even matter. Because he will now be playing for a much better team and a coach that has been pretty good at developing quarterbacks. And Jaden Rashada was a great player in high school, so he has a lot of potential. And this is what his high school scouting report had to say about him. Thinner frame passer with impressive arm talent that keeps his cool when facing pressure. Has the arm strength to drive the ball downfield and into tight windows. Possesses the functional movement skills to escape the pass rush. Three-level passer who has the ability to layer the football. Productive player last season throwing for 2,220 yards and 27 touchdowns to five interceptions. Can be inconsistent with his ball placement, but shows flashes of improvement in camp and 7-on-7 seven -seven settings this spring. Should develop quicker processing with more reps in the same offense after playing in three different systems. Played his freshman season at Liberty High School before transferring to IMG Academy. He transferred back to California and played his junior season at Pittsburgh High School. On the older end of his spectrum for quarterbacks in his class, has the physical tools and arm talent to become the face of an elite level Power 5 program. Jaden Rashada is going to have very tough competition the next couple of seasons. 
And we already talked about Gunnar Stockton, who was expected to be that next guy up after Carson Beck is gone. But Georgia also adds four-star quarterback Ryan Puglisi in the 2024 class and four-star quarterback Ryan Montgomery in the 2025 class. And Georgia really has potential to have one of the most stacked quarterback rooms moving forward. But in today's college football, it doesn't really matter how stacked a team is at quarterback because first of all, it is always a bonus to have a solid backup. But second of all, when you have a stacked quarterback room, you have to expect a quarterback or quarterbacks to transfer out. So having extra solid quarterbacks on the roster is always a bonus. And you have to take what you can get in today's college football. Because a quarterback transferring out is becoming a more popular and modern thing in today's college football. And that's why we see quarterbacks like Dylan Gabriel transferring to the Oregon Ducks. And Cam Ward transferring to the Miami Hurricanes. And the train will continue with these quarterbacks. Because when one quarterback joins the roster, another quarterback leaves. But if you're lucky, you can keep many high upside quarterbacks on the roster. An example is the Oregon Ducks having Dylan Gabriel and five-star Dante Moore on the same team. So even if Jaden Rashada does not win the starting job at Georgia, I'm sure he could find another team where he can make a name for himself. But there's not many better places to be than Georgia. And imagine if he does win the starting job in 2025, 2026, or even 2027. We don't know how long he's going to wait. But there's no saying how good he can be when that time comes. And if he becomes that number one guy for Georgia in a year or two, he is going to get pushed to the moon and develop like an NFL caliber quarterback. And I truly believe that. We don't know what's going to happen, but we definitely have to keep an eye on that Georgia quarterback room because it's really about to heat up over there in Athens, Georgia after next season. And there's really a couple of potential first or second round NFL quarterbacks on that roster. And Jaden Rashada may just be the most talented on that roster. And he honestly may push Gunnar Stockton for that starting job after Carson Beck is gone. And Jaden Rashada reaching his full potential playing for the Georgia Bulldogs would be huge because Georgia is already a scary team. But you give them an elite quarterback and they are likely the odds on favorite to win that year's national championship. Just like they are this year with Carson Beck at quarterback. And there is a lot of people that think Carson Beck is the best returning quarterback not just in the SEC but also in the whole country. And honestly if I was to make an early prediction, not just an early prediction but a way too early prediction. I would have to say Gunnar Stockton is likely going to start over Jaden Rashada. Because Gunnar Stockton has been on the team longer. And he looked very comfortable in Georgia's spring game. And Jaden Rashada really has some catching up to do. But like I said, it is way too early. But if I'm looking at it right now and I had to give you an answer for who I think that next quarterback is going to be. I would say Gunnar Stockton looks like the number two quarterback behind Carson Beck for the Georgia Bulldogs. But we have definitely seen it before with the Georgia quarterbacks. They get too far down in the quarterback room. And then they can't win the starting job so they transfer out. Because just recently Brock Vandergriff transferred to Kentucky. After waiting around a couple years in that Georgia quarterback room. And Brock Vandergriff isn't your average 3 or 4 star. He was a 5 star quarterback in the class of 2021. So I don't know if Jaden Rashada is going to be a future starter for Georgia. But he will definitely play a factor in some way. And having a deeper quarterback room creates more optimism for the Georgia Bulldogs future at quarterback. And regardless of what happens, I know Jaden Rashada has a lot of potential and this was a pretty big pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs and this is exactly why I made this video. But anyways, you guys let me know who you think the starting quarterback will be for the Georgia Bulldogs after Carson Beck moves on to the NFL down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.